Good morning everyone. So today our lesson is about composite function. So let's define what is a composite function. Composition of function is another way of combining functions. This method of combining functions uses the output of one function as an input for a second function. So in general, given a functions of f and g, the composite function denoted by f and this symbol, okay, and that symbol read as f compose of g. Okay, so that is a composite function. It is defined like this, f compose of g of x is equal to f compose of g of x. So dito papasok yung idea na combining of two function, it uses the output of one functions Okay, as an input for the second function. So our first out uh, our first function is g of x and the in the output that we're going to get from the g of x given that the, there is a value of x is will be the input for the second function which is the f of x. Okay. The domain of f compose of g is the set of all numbers x in the domain of g such that g of x is the domain of f. Okay, so now let's have an example. So let's have the function of f of x which is equal to 3x plus 4. Okay, then our g of x, let's have 2x minus 1. Okay, so now, let's first find what is f composed of g, uh, g of x. So the first thing that we're going to do is to do this one. We're going to transform f composed of g of x like in this format. So we have f composed of g of x. Okay, parang hindi tayo malilito. So, meaning, the first thing that we are going to do to, is to input what is the function of f. So, our f, we have 3x plus 4. Okay, so next. Since nasa loob ni g of x si f, so we will write f first, then si g of x. So, we have 3. What is, saan natin nalagay si g of x dito kay x? Okay, so we will have our g of x is 2x minus 1, then plus 4. Usual na nakakalimutan natin class is once we input the second, uh, the first function which, which is the g of x, nakakalimutan na natin yung constant which is si plus 4. Or any constant or any after the variable. Minsan at hindi, madalas na yun yung nakakalimutan. So you have to take note of that. Okay, once we input the first function to the second function, now let's distribute. Okay, so we will have, we're going to distribute 3 to the 2x and 3 to negative 1. Then simplify. Okay, so we have 3 times 2x, we have 6x. 3 times negative 1, we have negative 3. Then plus 4. Then let's simplify. 3, 6x has no like term, so we're just going to copy it. 3 3, negative 3 rather, plus 4, we will have plus 1. Okay, so f composed of g of x is equal to 6x plus 1. Okay, let me erase it. Okay. Uh, let's have number 2. We have, let me change the color of my pen. Let's have G composed of X. This time class, baliktad naman. Okay, first, let's input G. Kasi siya yung second function, then C, F, then F, X. 
Okay, our g of x is we have 2x minus 1. Our f of x is 3x plus 4. So we're just going to insert it into the x. Again, may naiwan pa tayong constant na negative 1. Then distribute. We have 6x. We have 8, negative 1. Then simplify. We have 6x plus 7. So the answer of G composed of f of x is equal to 6x plus 7. Uh, let's try more. Let's have number 3. This time, f of f composed of f of x. Okay? So we have f composed of f of x. Okay, our f is 3x plus 4. Then, insert lang ulit natin si 3x plus 4 kay variable x. We have 3x plus 4. Do not forget the constant plus 4. Okay, then distributes 3 to the group. So, we have 3 times 3x, we have 9x. 3, plus 3 times 4, we have 12. Then, copy 4. Then, simplify. So, we have 9x plus 16. Okay, since there, there is no common factor between 9 and 16 other than 1, so we cannot uh, factor this out. So this is the final answer already. So f composed of f of x is equal to 9x plus 16. Okay, let's have more example on that give, given on that function. So let me write again the value of f of x which is 3x plus 4 and the g of x which is 2x minus 1 okay let's have we are done with f composed of g g composed of f and f composed of f now let's proceed to g composed of g of x so our so let's just write the pattern g of g g composed of g of x our g is 2x minus 1 then insert lang ulit natin si 2x minus 1 kay variable x okay then let's simplify distribute si 2 sa group so we have 2 times 2 2 times 2x we have 4x 2 times negative 1 we have negative 2 and copy negative 1 then simplify we have 4x minus 3 so, g composed of g of x is equal to 4x minus 3. Okay, let's have another one. Let's have this time f, of, uh, f composed of g given that x is equal to negative 2. Okay, so this time we have the value of the variable. So, we have f composed of g. So, since uh, may value na si x, ilalagay na natin si negative 2. Okay, so our f, we have 3x plus 4. Insert natin si g, so we have 3, quantity, 2x minus 1 plus 4. Okay, so usually class, ang ginagawa dito, after this step, ini-insert na si negative 2. Okay, so pwede naman natin gawin yung class, i-insert na si negative 2 or perf uh, simplify muna natin itong eto class, itong step na to, then after ma uh, after ma-simplify natin, tsaka natin i-insert si negative 2. Okay? Uh, let's do the let's do the both uh, so that solution. Okay, first muna, simplify muna natin to. 3 times 2x, we have 6x. 3 times negative 1, we have negative 3 plus 4. So, simplify this, we have 6x plus 1. Okay? Then, insert natin si negative 2 ngayon. So, we have 6 quantity, negative 2 plus 1. Then, we will have negative 12 plus 1, we will have negative 11. So, f composed of g of negative 2, the answer is negative 11. Or, pwede naman natin diretso yun na yung class. Pakita ko lang sa inyo. Okay. Pag dinaretso na natin siya, given this step class, ha? so let me write it here. Okay. So, pag dinaretso na natin siya, to insert natin si negative 2, substitute na natin class. 
Okay, then let's simplify. Uh, do the jump that's rule. We have 3. Simplify muna natin yung sa loob ng group. So, we have 2 times negative 4. Ay, negative 2. We have negative 4. Then, negative 1 plus 4. Okay, negative, again, 2 times 2 times negative 2, the answer is negative 4. Then, copy lang natin si constant ng negative 1. Then, simplify ulit natin yun sa group. We have negative 4 minus 1. We will have negative 5 plus 4. 3 times negative 5, we will have negative 15 plus 4. Then, negative 15 plus 4, we will have negative 11. Okay, say a uh, different solution, but we come up on the same answer. So it's either of the two you can do that, but I will advise you na you do the first one. Okay, para at least hindi kayo malilito or if you master already the Jamdas rule, kahit anong i-insert yung rule, then that's okay. Okay, let's have the last one. Okay, let's have given g composed of f where the value of x is 0. Okay, so again, we'll do the pattern first. g composed of x given that x is equal to 0. Importante na may pattern class. Importante na susundan natin yung pattern para may guide tayo throughout our solution. Okay, our g of x, we have 2x minus 1. Our f is 3x plus 4 so just insert lang natin class then negative 1 then do the uh, distribution distribute to the group so we have 6x plus 8 minus 1 so we will have 6x plus 7 then tsaka natin insert si 0 so we have 6 quantity 0 plus 7, so we will have 7. So, given the G composed of F of 0 is equal to 7. Okay, let's have another set of example of functions. So, this time, can say the, fir the first set of our functions is just a linear. What if, if there is a rational? Okay, let's have given that f of x is equal to 2x minus 3. Okay, let me write, rewrite the 3. Okay, then our g of x is x plus 3 all over 2. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to find is f composed of g of x. So again, let's do the pattern f composed of g of x. So our f is 2x minus 3 and our g of x is x plus 3 all over 2. So insert lang natin siya. Okay. Then minus 3. Now, this is multiplication. Okay. So we all know that uh, the denominator of the whole number is 1. So our rules in numerator, if we, are if we are multiplying a fraction, numerator multiply by numerator, denominator multiply by denominator. So our numerator is 2 times x plus 3. So 2 times x plus 3. Our denominator is 1 times 2. We will have 2 minus 3. Then let's simplify the numerator. Distribute 2 to the group. We will have 2x and we will have 6 all over 2 minus 3. So according to the rule of fraction in addition and subtraction, you cannot combine two fractions if they have a different denominator. So the denominator again of the whole number is 1. Okay, so the LCD of the two fractions given the 2x plus 6 all over 2 and 3 all over 1 is 2. Okay, so our LCD is 2. So since same na sila ng LCD, you just have to copy the value of the numerator. Then just perform the other one. 2 divided by 1, the answer is 2. 2 times 3, the answer is 6. Okay, then negative 6. Okay, just copy the operation. Okay, and now, let's simplify. So, 
2x plus 6 minus 6. So as you can see here, class, see, uh, you cannot combine 2x because there are no like terms of 2x. So nag-iisa lang siya, class. So 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. Okay? So, all over 2. Okay, so 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, naiwan na lang si x. So, f composed of g of x is equal to x. Okay, let's do the other one. This time, we have g composed of f of x. So, let's do the pattern first. Okay, let me move here the equal sign class, ha? Okay, kasi medyo masigip na doon. So, we have g. Our g is x plus 3 all over 2. And our f is 2x minus 3. So, si insert lang natin siya. 2x minus 3 plus 3 all over 2. Okay, so you can put class parenthesis para masignify nyo na in-insert nyo siya. Then, the next step, remove the parenthesis so you can combine like terms. Okay, so as you can see, 2x has no uh, like terms on the numerator, so you just copy it. The negative 3 plus 3 is equal to 0 all over 2 na lang. Then simplify nyo, you will get x. Okay, this class is nagkataon lang na they, have, they will come up on the same answer but not all the time. Okay, maybe... 2x minus 3 is the maybe the function f of x is equal to 2x minus 3 is the inverse the inverse of uh, uh, the inverse of function of, of the function f of x is equal to 2x minus 3 is the g of x which is equal to x plus 3 all over 2 okay maybe ganun yung scenario kaya nag they, they will come up on the same answer okay let's have number 3 our number 3 is f of g Okay, we're done with that in the number 1, but this time, they give value of x, which is 3. So, all you have to do is do, to do the pattern f g, composed of g of 3. So, since nakuha na natin siya, which is si x, so let's just write x. Ito yung class ha, si number 3. Ang pagkakaiba lang, nabigyan na to ng value, which is 3. Okay, so the answer is 3. Okay, so we're done. So, all you have to do is to remember that you just have to insert the output of one, one function as an input for the second functions. And uh, if you're familiar with the operation, the GEMDAS rule, the rules of the fractions, the similar and uh, unlike terms, the LCD, so hindi ka na malilito. Okay, this is just uh, an easy way Com composite function is an easy way to solve because you're just combining two functions. And you just have to note of the signs, the constants, when you're substituting the value of x. Okay? So, I hope you learn uh, a lot about the composition of function. God bless everyone.